iRoger here with iRoger revamped. He is, yeah, he can now compete with the big leagues. Um, he is my best mock right now. I mean, he used to be the best, now he... Okay, yeah, last version he was the best. Now he's just overkill. Uh, he has the same leg design. I've changed his thigh design. I use that piece instead. You know, putting a connector there, putting a connector there. His hips went back here. Speaking of hips, yes, those ball and sockets, he now has waist articulation. There's a lot of armor stacking, too, so that makes him look all awesome. He, I, I had to sacrifice Dog to get these out, and as well as a few other of his parts. Nothing special on his back, just, you know, the Titan articulation. Use those special scroll parts to see what I could do with it. <sighs> Dang. One issue is when you're trying to hold him one-handed, he likes to fall over. You know, only when you're holding him one-handed. Uh, these right here are a little wiggly, but they're, they work. They're okay. Sit. Stay. Alright, um, this used to be Makuta Borax's arm. If you notice, I have two of them. I found the other one, and then I traded arms. So now he has the scrawl arms. That's his update. See? This, this arm design belongs to Sideways 0011 with a few of my updates. He has wings now. Oh, that's coming out. There. But yeah, the wings can flip out since they're attached to a ball and socket, which also belong to Dog. Nothing changed here. I've given him that. Yeah, if you take attention that the uh, this right here is no longer connected to the Anika body. It's through a series of connectors. I've given him that just for purpose. That right there. That Vaki. That's, yeah, yes, uh, Vaki part. That's what it is. You know, they're from the uh, same series. Why does Vaki and Vahi sound so similar? I mean, is Bionicle really not that creative? I mean, seriously, axe on. I love the guy, but his name, Axon, that's just... I'd really like to ax him why they did that. <laughs> iRoger's gonna kill me while I'm sleeping tonight. Um, I'm gonna turn, you know, this piece right here, it does this. I'm gonna turn it into something important, I'm not sure what yet. Maybe it holsters a gun, you know, Ching! puts on something there, I don't know. So... I, I believe I did very well with only, like, what, two how-tos? This was inspired by Sideways 0011. This is still my design. So, if anything here you see that you've used before I made this, I haven't seen what you made, so I don't know, and I'm sorry. Uh, the waist design is inspired by T1 Movies and several other people. Um, I believe T1 has a waist design guy. Uh, mostly Shadow Gear. Shadow Gear has a lot of people. Yeah. So he's like awesome now. I haven't tested him out, but he looks to be about as tall as Tuma. Not including the wings. So that's awesome. His weapons haven't changed, gun hasn't changed, etc., etc. His guitar's awesome. Credits to T1 Movies again. Um, who hasn't gotten back to me on that one? I don't think so. I don't know. I, I have a horrible memory at that sort of stuff. And if you notice at the beginning of this movie, I have a new intro! <laughs> Mr. I. Rogers, signing out.